the One Piece live action has officially been confirmed. We are finally break the horrible streak of anime adaptation not getting a second season. Yep, clap up, everyone clap, clap, not like that. But anyway, they finally broke the horrible streak of anime live action adaptations only getting one season. And it brings a lot of hope to the anime community because we've been getting nothing but crappy, crappy, and more crappier live action anime. And I'm glad that we finally broke the streak. I am not happy for Netflix at all when it comes to this success. I'm happy for the people who put on the work to be able to give us this life at that, uh, life adaptation of One Piece. I do not care about Netflix, I, their success, I really don't care. I'm just happy with the fact that act, the, the, the graphic people, the people who, you know, older, you know, big applause to them because of the fact that they are the ones who put in the work in order to make this a wonderful thing. And Netflix, the only thing Netflix did a good job at is giving us a second season of another live action One Piece. Because the live action One Piece season one was actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Long, it was actually pretty good. Contrary to what other people say, I think it was a really good adaptation that I hope that gives more light to other animes that want to get an anime adaptation. And we all know how Netflix is, like I said in a million other videos before. Netflix doesn't know how to do like anime adaptations correctly. Not, not even the ja Japan knows how to do that correctly. So what they did right now is a good job. And like I said, I'm so happy the fact that these actors, these these VFX, these graphic designers aren't getting the spotlight they deserve because they did an excellent job. I am so happy for them. And the one thing I don't like when like a live action adaptation does poorly. They automatically blame the actors, the the people behind the effects, but not even though Netflix gets their their fair share of slack and rightly deserve. They do deserve everything they get coming to them when it comes to criticism. But I feel like the actors just get crapped on so much during it, even though they're just following a script and go by the direction of a certain person. And I'm so happy with the fact that they actually get a chance to shine. I'm glad they're getting a season two of the One Piece live action. Now, the things I am looking forward to is the Alabasta art because I really want them to so really want to see how they go about like certain lots because they left out a lot of stuff during the first season. I'm just wondering how they get a mush mix it all together in you know, the live action season two. And I can't wait to see uh, Chopper. I really want to see how they do Chopper because Chopper is a deer. So I'm wondering if they're going to do a great job with the CGI when it comes to that. And plus, we might see Ace unless they're going to get rid of Ace altogether because, you know, they try to add, cut, and paste certain things to make it flow better. But we might see Ace because of the fact that we had to get to the uh, Grand Line, and Ace is on a really important part of Alabasta. Even though he was there, just for the sake of being there, well, we all know the reason to it. I'm not going to spoil it, just in case people have not watched One Piece or only watched the live action. But he's just there. Granted, I just spoiled Ace being there, but whatever. But I just want to see how they do everything in the, in the live action. If they want to like, cut certain parts, which... I wouldn't be surprised that they do. And I can't wait. I'm glad that the people who worked on it, the actors, are getting a second chance at adapting something they love. Because I saw the Instagrams of the actors. And they are really fans of One Piece. They didn't get like some person that never know what anime is. Or has never seen a person that haven't watched One Piece at all. That's why Oda is the GOAT. He's the GOAT of casting he's the goat of this whole thing because they did a really good job when it came to casting the care of the people who were playing iconic characters like Usopp, Zoro, Sanji and other people I'm so glad I'm so happy for them 
I hope season two is a success. And I hope Netflix does not screw it up and become lazy because of this one successful live action. Because we're they're planning on doing a Yu Yu Hakusho, show. And if they screw up that, and I, I I can't I can't even tell you what I'm gonna what I'm gonna think. I can't wait to make a video on it and rant on it. But but yeah, Netflix don't screw this up. If you screw this up, man, I'm gonna cancel my subscription. Anyway. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment down below. If you guys are hype about the season 2, or you guys, you know, don't believe it's getting a season 2, I didn't think it was gonna get a season 2. Maybe, but anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.